Again, survivability there, I think, would have helped. Like, a lot. A helmet, armor. Would have just helped. Rubies would have helped. I'm sad. Whatever. Uh, new game. Alright, what are we doing here? I think we just buy everything on sale. Health potion. Sorry, the game is really good. <clears throat> um... Roll? Ah. Uh... See potion being good too. Yeah, this is just like an insta win. For the first round. For the first round, this is like an insta win. Maybe two. So we can get the cards later. We don't really need them now. So I'm not gonna get that now. Getting a spear on round one is like really good. So I think we should just pick up a spear. And we could rock like a spear into like a claws of attack. Getting gloves of haste is pretty solid. Round one. I mean, alternatively, would it be viable to go for a falcon blade? Falcon blade isn't bad. Like actually not a bad play if we went for a falcon blade here. Pig? Yeah, we're getting pig. But um, one of the best falcon blades I've run like Falcon Blade builds I've ran. It's actually not an infinite build. Surprisingly. Um, but it's actually a really good build. I think we want to try that now. So with Falcon Blade and Holy Spear. Since we got the spear and we already got gloves, right? We could find the whetstones. That'd be pretty solid. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to go for something like that. Um, but I do definitely want to get a spear this round because I'm not going to go into the next battle with just a wooden sword. Getting piggy is a no-brainer, though. It's like free money. And I guess we'll just sell one of these. I'll sell this. I don't want to make a torch. And just buy this. Now we just need to rearrange in a way to make this work. Reserve that. And we'll just rock with this. This should just give me a win. Like, high DPS weapon at the start of the game. With a health potion? That's just... It's like cheating, almost. Alrighty. Let's just get this. Give me space. Not the space I wanted. Not the space I wanted, but the space I'll probably have to take. Customer card's not bad. Healing herb. We're not really going to utilize healing herb, because we're not going to go for a hungry blade or anything. We're not going to go for a... a, a a uh, heart container. I mean, it's not bad to have at the start of the game. We can also use it to upgrade our potion. So it's not like shitty. But I definitely get this space, I think. Because we could just utilize space. Space is nice. Um, It's probably better if I just did like this. like this two gold left though what item do i get i mean i could just upgrade this health potion i don't mind upgrading the health potion i'm contemplating if i should upgrade the health potion <laughs> i'm gonna get it though i'll get it i'm gonna get this next round though i want both so yeah um just a shovel should win. Besides our stamina being mean to us. Good game though. FB poison isn't bad if you get good if you get green gems. FB. What's FB mean? I forgot we needed whetstones. Let's probably start rolling for those. It's not bad. Getting at the proc this early on round three. I mean it's only round three. We'll see another whetstone, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve that, I think. Damn, getting a banana wouldn't be bad either, though. Getting a banana would not be bad. Should I do this or should I do this? Probably just this. We're stamming out. We're honking. I think I'm gonna get the banana. I mean, I could do this. I don't know. I think this is too much gold. 
So I think I'm just gonna pass on the stone skin potion. Next round, we'll just go whetstones. We'll see another whetstone, right? He's seen another whetstone, we can see another whetstone. Nice. Falcon Blade hits double for po Oh, you mean Falcon Blade with poison. Gotcha. I just did, I didn't know what FB meant. Okay. But yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. For sure. Falcon Blade is just... Yeah. It suffers late game. I mean, you can rock that and put lamps on it, though. And lamps just increases DPS. So you don't really suffer too much. I want this. I think I'm just about to sell this garlic, bro. Sell the garlic for a pig. I think that's a better play. All right, we're round four. Round four is not bad for this. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think we need space either because we're gonna get two more space next round, like free space. So, but round four for this, not bad. One more gloves and that's all we'll need. He doesn't have healing herbs, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. Very happy his healing herbs is not here. That's a pretty smart though. Oh, you're gonna try it next time? Oh yeah, for sure. I highly recommend. I'm about to do it now if you wanna like watch it. Peep it real quickly. See it in action for a little bit. I mean, if we do it successfully, I guess. Do I need blueberries for this build? Not really. One mana orb and we're fine. We just need to find a mana orb and that's just to get the the, the Holy Spirit of proc, right? But we're like, realistically, we won't need it. Like just a blueberry because we don't need the clovers. We don't need the blueberries. We're fine. I'm gonna grab space here though. We got two piggies. I, I, think, we're, I think we'll be okay. And realistically, we don't need the other banana. I mean, we could just sell it though. Depending on what we get here. Piggy. Nah, I need to roll. Well, I don't need to. I just, I really want to roll for it. Like, give me some lamps. I need lamps and I need a, a gloves of haste. That's all I need right now. Honestly, a fanny pack wouldn't be bad. <laughs> a fanny pack would not be bad. If you, uh, if you want the climb right, you need the rock. Oh, I thought he was about to say rock golem. Rock the G and Y and become flexible. What is G and Y? I don't know what that word means. Or f like, I don't know what that phrase is. G N Y. What is that phrase? G N Y. I may not stand. Oh, I may not stand, but still, I rise with the dreams of light in my eye. Although my legs may not comply, my spirit soars, and I will not die. It's so beautiful. Such a beautiful quote you are. I don't need any of this. I need my super suit. Oh my gosh, can I please get something that's not what I'm seeing now? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, next round. We need it next round. We need I need I need another gloves next round. Like 100%. 100% we'll see gloves next round or a lamp like Gloves and lamp is all we need. You need to rock the gym and become flexible. What does that mean? Are you like telling me to go to the gym? Oh wait, do we lose this? Yeah, we lose this. We got blind on us. We have no blind counter at all. We're just gonna keep hitting or missing. Yeah, unfortunate. That's fine though. Wow, a free hungry blade. I actually might rock this over the uh, hero sword. That would not be a bad play. I lied. <laughs> we also got it this. Damn. You might just be getting sold here, buddy. Well, I can't just rock Hero Sword in uh, the Spear. I mean, I don't have Healing Herbs, though. This is a 2.8 versus a 3.7. But when this procs, I guess we can utilize that Vampirism at the very end. Might be worth it. I don't mind getting this Health Potion either. Uh... Um, another fanny pack wouldn't be bad. I think the game with all the items added needs to adjust the shop. After your class items, you should have more items in shop. Would help the game a lot. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. 
I agree. Because you're basically saying like there's like too many items in the game and you really can't like like there's so many items you can't like make your build, I, I suppose. I don't think that's a bad idea. Like Far said, I think it's a pretty interesting idea. My personal take, like my personal, what I think should happen though, is um, I think that they should add seasons to the game where they vault items during, you know, like every month or whatever, you get a new season or like every three months you get a new season where items are vaulted, unvaulted. And that way they can just like keep like a set number of items that's like that sweet spot. And then you just vault the items, um, you know, vault like 10 items or something. I don't know. Or maybe switch around the class items. Like they'll just introduce new class items, like three new class items for each class. And depending on the season, they'll like switch out the class items or whatnot. That could be kind of cool. All right, I'm getting my vampirism now, which is great. That pretty much just turned the game completely around, I think. Yeah, definitely. Whoa, without that, without Hungry Blade there, we lose 100%. Okay, we're getting vampirus because we need this build with... Why am I dumb? Oh my God, I know I did not just do that. Whatever, we need vampirus. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I could have had a Falcon Blade this round. Oh my God, we might lose. We might lose. We might lose. I need this and I need oil lamp. What's more important? Oh, I don't know what's more important. I'll figure it out though. We'll just do that. Uh, probably oil lamp. Yeah, probably oil lamp. It was just a joke about needing to be more flexible. Gotcha. More shop slots would be good. I don't know. I wouldn't say it would be bad though. I don't want to say like you're wrong. It would be bad. Cause I don't think it would be bad. I just don't think that I like how it would be like a permanent thing. You know what I mean? Cause I don't want them to make a change in the game. That's kind of like permanent, I guess. Cause like if you vault items, you can really just like, you can bring the items back. It's not like permanent, you know? But like, if you increase the size of the shop, that's like a permanent change. I mean, yeah, they can, it's their game. They can literally just revert a change if they want it to, but like, you know, if that makes sense. Can I buy this? I guess theoretically I could. I got three gold. I could sell this for two, three, four, five, six. It would be a lot of selling though. I mean, I could sell the health potions. Nah, I think we keep the health potions because we got Hungry Blade. It could benefit from uh, the vamp, the regeneration until we sell it. But yeah. <laughs> Look at Spike Shield just in the corner. It sucks he has so many freaking garlics cleansing my vampirism, bro. So many garlics clearing my vampirism. What a fiend. A fiend he is. All right, but anyways, now we have this. You're going to go right there. Honestly, you can go right here. I'll just do that. I forgot I can make a vampiric potion and that could just help with more vampiric items and it doesn't use up the blood ammo either. I forgot I could do that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to do that. <laughs> Literally just going to do that. I think we kind of keep this setup we have and just keep hungry blade until we see uh, the crown and then we can switch uh, until then. I think this is great. I'm thinking about getting this Gloves of Haste a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get it, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it. It's a little interesting. Stone Skin Potion. We can utilize that on the Vampiric Potions. I'm going to get that. 
Now the question is, can I actually utilize it in this situation? So we like a combo off. Because I want this to touch, right? <laughs> like that's like, you know, like ideally you would want something like this. Which I guess we could do this. And just put this situation like on this side. Like this. And that just works out. And that way, when he's proc, we'll just get, you know, doubled up on the stone skin potion. Which would be nice. Okay. Especially next week, because, yeah, they're adding 20 new items. I saw that. Like, what in the world? 20 items is insane. Going against a spike spin on a falcon is not nice, but we do have a lot of uh, healing right now, which is great for us. But yeah, adding 20 new... Yeah, they're adding 20 new items next week. 20, bro. Like, that is in freaking insane. Consume this and gain two vamp. 20 new items. I just realized my Falcon Blade is not inside the relic case. Oopsie. Shit, I might as well upgrade this, this health potion too. Why not? Looking for that crown. Another oil lump is really nice though. I actually might get this. Literally just to buy it. But yeah, we need to fix this uh, situation over here though. I guess we'll just uh, back this back then. All right, there we go. Oh man, well. That'll work. Yeah, that works. That works. And we'll get this. Um, it's sell you four, five, six, seven, eight. No, wait, four, five, six. I don't want to sell the coal. I kind of like having it in your. It's a 50% chance to deal six more damage and gain some heat. I like that. I like the odds of that. I do want it though. I guess we'll just get it next round. It's not the end of the world. We'll just get it next round. I don't know what build this is. It's a crazy build. Nice. Dang, I have to switch this around. Well, I guess I could just do this. I don't think it's ideal, but we'll just do this. Another health potion? I kind of do want to keep stacking these vamp potions. I'm not going to lie with you guys. Not going to lie with you. It's kind of cool. Uh, sure, I'll buy it. Do I need these with the build? I actually don't know. It'll increase my vampirism. That's really about it. I mean, nah, I think we'll be fine without it. Do do do. The vamp potion on top? Up here? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can use the prismatic orb towards my nocturnal lock lifter. I forgot that's a thing. Then, yeah, maybe we should get it. Yeah, they're still goaded. They are. I don't know. I feel like it uh, should go down here. I mean, it can go up here, but it's not going to like stone skin poach is not going to proc anything unless we put it up here. Right. And do like this. Like this, but we want to get that combo, right? That combo is important. But I mean, we could just do like this. Then we could like actually maybe. Because we have this new health potion here. So like we could. 
Um... Do this. And that way, that still has the double procs. That's still, like, there. Still getting the combination. Unless, no. You just had a crazy idea? What's the idea? <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Yeah, vamp is a heal increase. Uh-oh. Not the chain whip. All my buffs. No. Anything but the buffs. My potions are proccing like crazy. Wow. Ding. Nice. And then I guess we'll just put this here. And we'll buy this. Do I want to get a stone helmet? I feel like we're just not going to benefit too much from this stone skin potion after a while. It's kind of just going to be like, you know, whatever. It'll kind of just be there and just being there, you know. So I don't know how like actually beneficial it is. And this isn't really min max the way I want it to be. I mean, what if I move you here? Eh. It's kind of doing the same thing. Eh. That'll be fine, I think. I think I'm also just going to get the stone helmet. It's a little bit more defense. <laughs> Versus just having block, I guess. Blind! Well, we got oil lamp, but... Blind still hurts. Maybe we'll be fine with oil lamp. Oh my god, we just hit him for so much. Wow. GG's on that. Damn, no crown yet. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I said something. Okay, so... Damn, selling the Hungry Blade here makes me sad a little bit. Just a little bit. It'll be okay, though. I'm gonna trust in the build. I'm gonna trust in the build. And I think I'm gonna want to refresh everything. Okay. Um, You're gonna go... Maybe there, we'll see. Unless I change my mind. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, and then we got all our slots over there. I mean, we could also like do this and just move you up here or something. Okay, so let's um, get you here. Crown proc. Uh, we're gonna need spaces for these oil lamps, though. So we need one oil lamp there. I guess we'll get one here. Uh, I mean, we can still get the crown proc, though. Just do that, like that. Nice. Um, and then we could go vamp, vamp, and to you. Health potion is kind of just gonna be here. Oh, I forgot we have a third lamp now. Damn. I guess we just have to do this. That's okay, though. And then we'll just do like that. I need to get myself another blood amulet or something. Okay, noise. Noise. I guess we'll incorporate this somehow. I don't know where. Yeah, that should be enough to make this girl in crown proc. I guess we'll just put that up there. Because I don't know where else to put it. Alright, neat. Very, very neat. And we'll get that next round. Probably put it somewhere. <laughs> don't know where yet. Ooh, Kappa Discomfy. He's also got the... Uh, 
The reduction in healing. Oh, crown proc though. Crown proc. Oh, crown proc saved us so hard there. Crown proc clutch. Crown proc was super clutch. Super clutch. Another health potion. Five rounds left. I mean, we got to find a regeneration and everything. I don't think it's happening. Oh, I know, right? Do I want to do this? Nah, that's... I don't think that's ideal. What's a better way of setting this up? Like this would be better. Yeah. Because that's a, you know, that's a little bit more vampirism. I still don't think it's like super ideal, though. This would be better. We're missing a whole slot right there for the 8%. I don't like that. Oh, we could just do this. Yeah. Yeah, that works. And then we could do like that. Yeah, I'm not getting that. I don't think we're just going to get two regeneration. And for, you know, the, the amount of rounds we need to actually, like, get the combination probably won't happen either, so. Yeah. I'll get this, though. Oh, uh, we need star slots on you. I forgot about that. We need star slots on you. Um... I don't know if two star slots would be enough. It's really nothing I could do, though. I mean, cleansing only one. So we're going to cleanse two debuffs each hit. Hopefully we don't. I mean, I mean, we'll be fine regardless of whatever build we go against, I think. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're completely fine. Hey. We'll be taking you. And you can go right here. And now we're maxed out. Nice. Okay, I don't really know what to make the... I mean, more star slots on this Hobie Spear will probably make it a little bit better. Um, jewels, obviously. More helmets wouldn't hurt. Um, that's really about it. To be honest. Can we get a gen proc? Probably not. Probably not. Fanfare doesn't matter. Another orb. Oh, Nico. For the 15% faster on this holy item. Holy spear. Probably wouldn't be bad. We could put it right here. That'll be more than enough money for Nico. And I guess we can get this other uh, prismatic sword. I mean, not sword, but prismatic orb. Oh, wow. Heart of Darkness. They have a similar build. Very similar build. But the Heart of Darkness is taking our bus, which is bad. Oh, no. I think we lose this. Heart of Darkness is probably going to kill us here. No, because we have lamps. We have lamps. Oh, my God. We have lamps. Without lamps here, we just have more lamps. They have better... I, I think they have better survivability. Like, look at that. 40 vampirism on a hungry blade. And then the falcon blade is right there. Every time the falcon blade hits, it's like a perfect 40. But we just have better DPS. Us having better DPS won us that game. But literally, double Heart of Darkness hurts. And they were stamining out because why do you have a hero sword? Why do you have a hero sword? Why is your prismatic orb not your nocturnal lock lifter? Why is your hungry blade not on the star slot? Like they could have set this up way better, way better, way better. Man, they could have set this up way better. Infinite vamps, yeah. stealing the freaking stealing our vampirism, bro. Stole our vampirism. All right, we need 23. We could sell the, we could sell some things. 67, wow. That's all, wow. 67, make that 71. Yeah, we could sell the pigs, I don't mind. Selling pigs here. Mm. 
I mean, I guess I could put it here and move this up and then do that. And maybe just doing this. I don't I don't like how that looks, but I do like the prismatic orb. But yeah, I don't like how that looks. It does not look the best in my opinion. I forgot Nico's a holy item. I forgot about that. I mean, I could do this as well and just put that right there or even right here if I want it. And that's the case. I guess we could just move this back. Wait, not like this. It's less vamp though. I think. Five, four, two. I'll put it here. That's four, three, four. Now nah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. I think getting these vamp potions was smart, though. Because as long as you have a blood amulet, you can get like a free vamp item for the Nocturnal Locklifter. I like that. I it was completely by accident as well. But I do like that. I wish I could move this board back by one. I want my Holy Spirit to have a little bit more star slots, but doesn't look like that's gonna be possible. Unfortunately. I wonder if I should get this dagger. It'll probably benefit more than just like a random ass blood amulet. <laughs> Just sitting and chilling. So yeah, why not? Let's get a bloody dagger. Wow. Oh, we insta-proc you? That's pretty lame. I don't want to insta-proc you. I don't know what's going to happen here. That is an Excalibur and a Prismatic Sword. But we have a shit ton of healing and DPS. All right, we beat a Pyromancer Excalibur be able to Prim Sword, doing 91 damage per second. Wow, that is not a happy burning banner. That is a pretty decently happy moon armor, though. Wow. Amulet of Feasting. Wait, did he gin proc this? Wait, did he gin proc this? No, he does have spikes. No, 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 he doesn't have spikes. So you just gain that damage by yourself? Wow. Good game. How are we putting this? That wouldn't be a bad spot. But we're kind of missing on a... <laughs> you gotta go down there. Buster. Unless I literally do like this, but nah. Um, sure. Ah, never mind. You don't have to go down there. Take that back. You're fine. You can stay where you are, my friend. Damn, I was going to do this. That's not happening. Another one? Sure. I'll figure out where to put you in a minute. Hey, Mad Wife, what's up? How's it going? You put... I will put on a dock and send on Discord. Okay. I can use this somehow, 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 some way. Because I could do this and then do this. I just don't know where I'm going to put the orb. And I don't like how these are insta procking, but there's no way around it. Unless I move these prismatic orbs. But that's less healing and everything. But I, I, do, I do not like how Holy Spirit insta procs. I, it needs to insta proc like right at the correct time. So, if that's with that being said, maybe I can like do this. Because that's going to give me two, four at the start of the game. I 
Which I guess isn't horrible. I guess it doesn't matter where this guy goes. This will be better, but it'll be fine. Move uh, more to a bad spot or something. Uh, we can try that. We'll move it there. Nah, it's giving me more mana at the start. We'll move it there. Now, if it procs at the wrong time, I'd be sad. <laughs> and this probably helps it against dragon builds. I've been seeing a lot of recently. Oh, like burst builds and such. That is true. Damn. Triple vamp potions. Kai? They got a pretty solid build, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I mean, starting off with six isn't bad. We can, we can get up there to that seven and such, or ten, or whatever. Now we're at like a decent start in the game. That's seven seconds. Not, not too horrible. Ouch, bro. 34 vamp and 19 spikes. Nah, our healing is just too good, though. Like, at this point. Like, I feel like Holy Spear just helps us buy time for our build to, like, get up there. And really benefit from um everything. Do I buy this? <laughs> Probably don't need to. Why is every build a vamp? <laughs> Cause vamp is awesome. If I buy it, I can move the board one back. Oh. Good point. Good point. Good point. Ah, oh, fuck. I get it. Well, if I buy this, it'll be good. Um, where are we going to put it, dude? I guess we'll put it like this. Ah, oh, no, we can't do that. Dang it. If I did like this. That'll work. None of prismatic orbs touching makes me sad, though. Not gonna lie. We have so much vampirism right now. Three prismatic orbs, three blood amulets. Like, I would be upset if I was going against me. Not to mention our Amplify healing isn't bad. That's 16, was that 20, a 20% Amplify healing. And I guess we'll just buy this for that uh, that star slot up there. We can get rid of uh, something. Cool. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Like, I can point him at these and get the stars. So, I guess theoretically, I could, like, bring it back a little bit. But this is the best I'd be able to do. And I'd have to, like, put that there. Do, like, something like this. Because we still need that star slot of the, uh... What you call it? I mean, I could also, like, move the entire board this way get that other star slot though and if that's the case i can move the entire board back again and get a whole nother star slot as well one lamp's not touching oh fuck you're right actually let's try that let's uh let's move the entire board back again but like the other direction like this way and then utilize the star slot Something like this. Like, that would be ideal. I like that. That's ideal. Oh, 
forgot if we have a whole nother one, bro. Wow. Hey, this is just nutty. Talisman is not star for speed, right? Talisman is not a star. Talisman. Ah, oh, crap. The blood amulet. Damn, I guess I have to put that there. Well, I mean, I could just do this. And then put you up here. That kind of works. Wait, what do you mean by talisman? What's a talisman? Oh, you meant the amulet. No, it's not. I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. here's the build <laughs> i don't think it could get any better than this more hats you can never go wrong with hats more hats save lives okay light goober and a chili goober what a frostbite little cold build is very interesting will this proc you should have used a blueberry as an activator so <laughs> This shit's every eight seconds. Why would you use that as an activator? Pretty sure we win. Oh man, you still insta prog the freaking orbs. Sag. But at least we don't have to worry about armor or block. I mean armor or debuffs. So like we kind of counter his cold. Cleansing the blind from the light goober and then cleansing the cold from everything else. And at this point, the build is just. We're just not gonna die. We're just not gonna die. And we still got a nice amount of vampirism too without uh, using Hungry Blade because of the vamp potions, probably. And then, you know, the starter vamp of pretty much everything we got. Damn, we got up to 20 heat? Well, yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8. I guess the rest just came from these coals. I oh, mean, 40% faster is nice. Yeah, we destroyed this dude. We had heat to counter his cold and then this to counter the cold. This did really good. Don't know where we got empowerment from. Oh, from the, yeah. We cleansed so much cold. Yeah, and then we also had heat on top of that. 31 cold was cleansed. 31 cold. That was a damage dealt. 1,000 healing. From the Nocturne. I mean, from Vampirism. 1,000 healing. Wow. 130 healing a second. And then we also overhealed 85. We overhealed 85 a second and we healed 130 a second, bro. Wow. The bloody dagger really didn't do shit. <laughs> How much blind did we cleanse? We cleansed 24 blind. GG's. Yeah, they had no chance. This build is legit. Yeah, this build is a great build. 